Florida, America's playground. This state has it all. A subtropical climate, miles of sandy beaches, world-renowned theme parks, acres of lush golf courses, and a vibrant nightlife. No wonder the Sunshine State is flooded over with 130 million tourists each year. But the Florida they know is a lie. The real magic of Florida is under our feet, the aquifer. This pure, crystal clear water is the lifeblood of our state. Tourists were originally drawn here for Florida's natural beauty. People and nature lived more in harmony. But the current pursuit of happiness is draining the life out of the state. Commercial development to accommodate the hordes of snowbirds, sun worshippers, and thrill seekers has our fragile ecosystem in a death grip. The tourniquet of overpopulation has already stopped the flow of the South Florida Springs, and the clock is ticking for the rest of the state. This water is then sprayed into suburban lawns, runs through showers, is flushed down toilets, turned into steam to crank turbines, and is siphoned into plastic bottles for sale around the country. This is what makes the springs possible and is also a gold mine for the phosphate industry. Phosphate, the main ingredient of fertilizers, most of which are banned in the United States, is destroying thousands of acres of natural Florida. Even after the mines are tapped dry, the damage continues. Toxic waste, a byproduct of mining, leaches into the aquifer. This directly impacts the environment, water bodies, wildlife, and residents. Stripping the land of phosphorus also strips it of its ability to sustain life. In addition to lowering the water table, misuse of our state's natural resources is turning our once pristine pools into murky mud holes. Environmentally irresponsible actions are leading to the growth of invasive plant species and algae, which place our springs in a chokehold. Because of poor use and neglect of our greatest resource, we will soon be without our supply of fresh water. We regard our water supply as abundant and cheap, when the fact is, is that it's neither. Until this attitude changes, the springs will not be rescued. Once the spring is dry, the damage is irreversible. The best we can hope to do is to prevent this fate from befalling the rest of Florida. This is only done by preserving what we have left. Wetlands must be protected from further development. Unlimited commercial ventures and natural Florida cannot coexist. We have pushed this ecosystem to its breaking point. We cannot continue to take and still expect to receive. It's not too late to make a change.